everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at a vehicle from the Vintage Collection. This is Star Wars The Mandalorian Imperial Troop Transport. And it's very exciting. I picked this up from Target uh, it, when it was on sale. They had a 25% off sale. So I got this for under $40. And I thought that was a pretty amazing deal. Uh, the packaging, we're going to take a look at it. On the, on the top, you can see that the doors open on the front of the vehicle. Here you can see it loaded with a bunch of vintage collection stormtroopers. So um, I'm going to show you how like different kinds of figures fit in this vehicle because I don't have any of this figure. And actually to buy this many of those that style stormtroopers would be very expensive because these run around $12 to $14 a piece. So that's going to be pretty expensive if you want to load it the way it's pictured in, in the package. So on the on this end, you can see how many figures will fit inside, how they deploy out the back door. And on this end, you can see more pictures, how this top hatch opens and the gun turret. So, so we're going to take a look at the, the thing out of the package. And so stay tuned. Okay, so we have it out of the package now. And I've loaded up uh, with a bunch of earlier Power of the Force figures that I had in my collection. And, and you, as you can see, they all fit, which is kind of amazing. It also comes with this instruction sheet that shows you uh, how to attach the turret, uh, how the various doors and stuff open, how the top comes off, the seats flip up and down, and the weapons rack. So a uh, little instruction sheet is included um, to help out your kid. If you buy this for, for a child, uh, having that instruction sheet might be helpful. Uh, one thing that's important to note, um, all the weathering and stickers and everything is already applied on this vehicle when you get it. So the only thing you have to do is just pop on this turret. And as you can see, the turret spins 360. Very nice. And moves up and down. So this top hatch opens like that. So you could have some, you could have a commander like, or just a stormtrooper standing inside here looking out the, out the top. In the front, you've got these doors that open. And as you can see, all these figures that I have in here are older figures. These are from mostly from Power of the Force line. And you can see my ADAT commander is sitting here. And my ADAT commander is here, ADAT driver here. And you can, as you can see, they both fit in there. It took a little bit of muscle to, to force them in there, but they do fit. And they can hold on to the controls. So that's really good news. If if all you have are older figures and you want to be able to use them, they are completely compatible with this vehicle. So that's great. Over here we have a Death Star Trooper, more Stormtroopers, have a standard Imperial officer here. And on the back, there is a door that opens so you can deploy troops out the back door. And on the bottom of the vehicle, there are wheels. So you can roll across the surface uh, and make it look like it's a speeder. Also, uh, the top, the entire roof comes off, and inside you can see more stormtroopers. And again, I have a few of these that have articulated knees, like this guy. Uh, but you, they, others uh, that don't have articulation in these will fit in there. So, no worries. Uh, you can get those those guys to sit down, and you don't want to tip the vehicle too much because all these guys will fall over and it'll be kind of comical. And the weapons rack, it only seems to fit certain weapons. Um, these larger blasters that come with the power of the force don't seem to fit in the slots. So there's a little bit of limited compatibility with the weapons rack. So just take note of that. Um, the smaller weapons that come with vintage collection figures will fit in that rack, but these larger weapons, like this is not going to fit in there. That's not going to fit in there either. So just take note, uh, there are some limitations in terms of what you do. But I love the backwards compatibility in terms of just basic figures themselves. They will fit in this vehicle, so that's really good news. There's also a door that opens on this front portion, so this guy can step out of the vehicle. The other doors do not open, but this one, and I believe the one on the other side, also opens. So again, nice, nice features on this vehicle. Very excited to have it in my collection, and I didn't have to spend a fortune to get it. Um, if you find a good sale uh, for this vehicle, I'd say pick it up, because really nice addition to any Star Wars collection. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support is appreciated. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. 
because I will be reviewing other Star Wars toys in the future. Until then, I hope you have a great day, and may the Force be with you.